everyone, it's Kim here. I love minimalist puzzle games. The type that is so simple and easy to learn that you don't even need text instructions to figure out how to play. They still give you a challenge, but they have clean, simple graphics and are super relaxing and cozy to play. Invento fits perfectly into this description and it's absolutely adorable. The storyline focuses around a really cute cat family and you are helping the parents prepare bento boxes for their meals. It's really easy to learn how the puzzles work in Invento and the art style is super simple, clean and it really adds to the overall relaxing feel of the game. There are these adorable clips between each stage and I love watching the cat family grow and interact in these moments. Just a side note, has anyone else noticed that 90% of these cozy puzzle games involve cats somehow? I'm not complaining at all, cats are awesome. But while I was perusing the Nintendo eShop recently, I actually found it harder to find a minimalist puzzle game without a cat involved than find one that did have a cat. <laughs> There seems to be a cat in all of them. Now when you start playing Invento, the puzzles are kind of simple, which does make sense. You're learning how to play the game. But each stage adds more ways of moving and adding pieces to the puzzle, and it keeps the game really fun and challenging. Definitely challenging at times. I've been playing quite a bit, and I'm still only around halfway through the game. I really do appreciate that the game mix up things in the puzzles between each stage. It's not only does it make things harder, but it keeps things fun and interesting. But the fact that I've been playing quite a bit is not just about the difficulty. There are so many levels included in Bento. I paid a little over $4 New Zealand for the game on Switch and in the US eShop at the moment it's just $2.49. There are over 120 levels split into 14 stages so considering the price it's a bargain. Some games I tend to pick up only once or twice even if I'm enjoying them but then don't go back to them. Well, I've had Invento for a couple of weeks now and I've noticed that I do keep coming back to it. I've actually wanted to play more and I have picked it up nearly every day since I bought it. I played Invento on Nintendo Switch and it worked really well, but it is also available on Steam for PC and it's available on iOS and Android for mobile. And with the visuals being so simple, I do think it would be good to play on mobile, but it is actually a little bit more expensive in the app store from what I saw. Only by a dollar, it's $4.99 in the New Zealand app store for Apple, but for that difference I'd much rather be playing it on Switch. Overall, I do recommend this game. I think it's fun, simple, and it has a lot more packed into it than you'd think initially. Thank you so much for watching. What's your favourite puzzle game on Switch? Is there a low price game in the Nintendo eShop that has you wondering whether it's actually any good? Let me know in the comments below as I'm always looking for more games for the series. Make sure you like this video and subscribe if you haven't yet. Stay fresh, cheese bags! Bye!